Hi everyone, today I'm going to give you some tips to prepare for the GCP Professional Cloud Architect certification. But if you're waiting to know the answers to the questions, this is not the place really. Let's start. I have more than 20 certifications and I can tell you that when you are preparing for a certification, you have two options. A study and maybe approve the certification or cheat and approve. So if you decide to take the certification only because you think that this is the line in your curriculum that is going to be the solution to all your professional issues, then the best option is that you use a page like Exam Topic or Study for Exam. In these places, you will find people like you that added the questions or something similar and the solution that these people think is correct. The problem here is that you are going only to end up learning the answers and not considering the solution in the environment. You need to understand that if you have the GCP Professional Cloud Architect certification and you go to an interview, the person that is making questions to you is waiting for a real GCP Professional Cloud Architect certificate, not for a fake one. In case that you decide to study the certification, you can use those pages for training and understand how it's going to be the question because every certification is different. This is a two hours exam with 50 questions. And the problem is that every question has a different value and that you need to get valid answers in every section. But you are not going to have this information ever. You have no idea how many questions do you need to answer correctly to pass the certification. You made a test. You get the results, and after some days, you receive the confirmation from Google. When you book your certification, there are a big number of rules to follow. And one of the rules is that there will be a person all the time watching you during your exam with your computer camera. Before the exam, this person will request you to show your ID and all the room where you are doing the test. So remember to be alone and don't hide a person under the table because even you need to solve this part of the house. Now, Let's focus on the exam. The idea of this certification is to help an architect to be able to execute one of the next three exercises. Create a new infrastructure from scratch, migrate an infrastructure from an on-premise environment or another cloud to GCP, or improve a current infrastructure that could be in the cloud on a hybrid scenario. So let's go now for the tips. Always, there are several correct options for every design, but you need to try to find the best solution. And this could be, for example, a self-managed infrastructure like GKE against a Kubernetes cluster in a three compute engine machines, or a MySQL database in Cloud SQL rather than a MariaDB database on two compute engines. The cheapest option for the customer always will be the best one. Okay, in most of the cases, we can design a multi-region infrastructure for our customer, but at least that he has a strong DR requirements or a heavy latency issue like a multi-country online game, there are no reasons for those sophisticated and expensive designs. Best performance is one of the options that we need to follow always. Remember that in most of the cases, a CTO in a company is looking for a cheap and fast solution. So if you have an option that gives you a cheap solution, but the latency is increased, if we're talking, for example, about an online game, this is going to be a problem. And for sure that the latency is going to be the winner, even if this is the most expensive solution. And the reason is because nobody is never going to have a very good experience playing in a game if the latency is killing you and breaking the game. One more point that you need to remember is that this is a Google Cloud certification. So try to go to the most Google solution, unless this option is not giving any benefit to the caster. There are plenty of products in GCP, and you need to understand the best moment to use every one of those. My recommendation is to learn those that can be used in data, like for example, BigQuery, Dataflow, Dataproc, Cloud Spanner, Firestore, Cloud SQL, and much more. Most of the questions are related to this subject. There are four case studies. Those are important, but are not the key to approve the test. In the end, those are only four scenarios where you need to apply the same fundamentals that you already learned. So don't get crazy learning every line of those cases. 
even when you go to the certification, you have all the scenarios there. If you're experimented Google Cloud Architect, this certification will be easy if you already have experience with all the important resources. But if you only have worked with two or three topics, this is going to be hard, really. Take the exam from Google page, study, practice, check the question in pages like exam topic or study for exam, and really, good luck. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel.